pain.ipmn and try and understand that a little bit better. But here's a cartoon of the pancreas, and as described previously, small side tubes enter into the main tube or the main duct, and they transmit the clear pancreatic fluid. When the main duct is affected by IPMN, this typically gets bigger in size, and it may actually clog up the pancreas, or the main pancreatic duct may get clogged up with thick mucinous fluid. And when that happens, patient may start developing symptoms. And what would those symptoms be? And these would be due to the failure of the pancreatic juice to reach the bowel. So the patients will have malabsorption, which manifests itself as diarrhea, weight loss, fatty pale stool. They will be prone to recurrent acute pancreatitis, and they are at risk of developing diabetes. However, the biggest risk is something even more serious. If the pancreas tube attains a diameter of one centimeter, of one centimeter or greater, then there's a risk of cancer. This is a precancerous condition, and studies have shown that once the threshold of one centimeter of the main pancreas tube is crossed, there is a higher risk of cancer developing in this condition. Now let's look at its other variant, the side branch IPMN. So as the name suggests, the side branch IPMN is the same process but going on in the smaller side tubes shown over here. So the cartoon of the pancreas, and this is showing the evolution of the side branch into finally a cancer or a tumor. The side branch IPMN is only small. It gets a little bit bigger and it gets filled with gloopy mucinous material. Further on, the wall gets thicker and small nodules start appearing within the side branch, which is now more dilated and more full of the gloopy material. And finally, over enough time, and finally, enough time elapses then this has the potential of turning into cancer. These two variants, the main duct and the side branch, may coexist in the same patient as well. Frequently on scans, frequently features are seen on the scans that are called worrisome because they may denote either underlying malignancy or the potential for malignancy. And these are greater than one centimeter of the main duct seen over here. If the wall of the side branch is enhancing, the wall is thick, or if there are nodules called intramural nodules, or if the size of this side branch is greater than three centimeters, then these are features that are associated with a higher risk malignancy.